A photographer by the name of Joel Goodman posted a photo of the aftermath of a New Year's Eve party. And of course, it included some people maybe falling over to the ground. This was obviously taken on the street somewhere in the UK. Let's take a quick look at the image. And so for anyone looking at that image, I guess it's comical by itself because you see people who are obviously drunk. You see the cops trying to tend to someone who might have had a little too much fun during the shenanigans that take place during New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. However, leave it to social media to take a fairly benign photo and turn it into something awesome. So a bunch of people compared that to Renaissance era paintings. Yeah, I couldn't help but compare it to that. Right. That, but th that's the incredible thing about the human mind, right? I look at that and I don't really think much. Mm -hmm. Other creative individuals that are artistically inclined look at that and they're like, huh, Renaissance art. Yeah. So let me show you exactly what happened. A um, bunch of tweets start flowing in. One person tweets, modern Renaissance art. All right. And then it goes, goes further. Ben Darlow uh, tweets out, I had, to <laughs> I had to go at turning it into a watercolor. That's awesome. It looks yeah. so good. A Photoshop filtering there. Roger yeah. McCarthy uh, tweets out. I would put that on my wall. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's the guy who has almost lost his trouser, b trousers, but miraculously saved his beer. That moves me. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so no. true. Mm. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> That's one interpretation that the guy fell and didn't spill his beer. But if we yeah. could bring that back back up, I like to imagine that he just happened to be passed out on the street, saw a beer, and then dragged his body across to get the beer. Nothing's it's gonna stop It's an epic him. quest yes, to he, quench his thirst. Yes, he's in good spirits. And he's also posing. Will. It's got a bit of that George Costanza when he was like reclined, you know? <laughs> he's like, well, I'm drunk, and I'm thirsty, but I'm still sexy. Yes, I, I love this. Um, one final tweet that I, I enjoyed, and there's many of them. Other people photoshopped uh, the images of the individuals in that photo into actual Renaissance art. So let's look at the last tweet that I have for you guys. <laughs> awesome. That guy is an American hero, even though that image was not from the United States of America. We have a major drinking problem in this country. We do. And apparently internationally. Uh, no, I, I love that image. If we could, Can we bring back up the original image? I know that we don't have this, but somebody broke down how it fits the, the golden rule. They had like the little spiral that yes. shows the rule of thirds and everything. And what I love about it is you take like one look at that and you think that's not a particularly good image. It doesn't show any one particular thing. But that's what makes it so much like the Renaissance art is that you can look at any individual part of that. Like the guy with his beer, or the guy being restrained by the police, the woman beseeching him, the crowd looking on from behind. And every part is perfectly composed to tell this story. It's really incredible. And this is, I, I, I don't know, look, the internet has been around for almost all the time that I've, I've lived, but I was trying to come up with, before the internet, how something like this, just being one example, that something could be produced and then hundreds of thousands of people just take off with it and start making their own things. No, but that's the thing. This was posted on the Manchester Evening News website. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some individuals saw that or maybe a group of people saw that and they, you know, make Probably a joke the about tweet. it. Yeah, yeah they, may, they make a joke about it on Twitter and boom, it just catches on fire. And you yeah. never know when something's going to catch on fire. But this was hilarious and I loved it. When I look at that image, though, the first thing I think about is, Okay, so this is a fun photograph because you see all of these drunk people acting crazy or, you know, they're inebriated in some way. This is because they're drinking, but think about what's going to happen as more and more people are open to <laughs> trying marijuana instead of drinking alcohol, right? Yeah. Like, they're just going to be sitting on that, like, curb eating a burrito. <laughs> Yeah. Like, well, it's it's in the UK, it's in Europe. So well, some maybe guy might have crawled to get a burrito. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, the thing is, honestly, people will look more put together. Yeah. And we also know that legalizing marijuana know. doesn't necessarily I don't increase. look very put together. <laughs> you're not. I don't think you're passed out like that, though. No, I'm not. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But I'm definitely eating burritos.